Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the image block on a Squarespace website. So luckily for you, the image block is super easy to use. There's tons of different options on ways you can format your images, change the editing and the settings, as well as the way it displays on your web page or within a blog post. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's minimize my lovely face here. I can just go down in the corner and chill. Uh, make sure it floats on top. There we go. All right. So as you can see here, I've just created a free demo site using Squarespace and I'm using the blind, the brine template in case you want to do something similar. So for this example, we're pretending that I am starting a skincare line. Like, wouldn't that be nice? All right. So to get started, I'm going to show you how to add images on a new web page. So to keep it simple, I'm going to create a brand new page and show you how to do that. So adding a new page here, just a basic one. Let's call it demo page, sure. And start editing. All right, so now to get started, I wanna add images to this page. It's just a basic one. I'm not doing index pages for this particular video, but let's get started here. So I basically hover over any section within the page content and you add a content block and you're looking for this image section right here. So you click on that. And then you can either drag an image over if you've got it like saved in the download section of your browser, or you can click on it here and that will bring up all of the different, um, like the options that are in, you know, you can basically add it from wherever you want, whether it's like your downloads, your photos or anything like that. So it's just going to be a little bit slow here as it resizes probably. All right. So let me just move that little guy out of the way. Okay, so now you can see here we've got the image is uploaded and I want to show you a couple things first off. So if you hover over the image itself, you see there's this little circle here that shows up and basically this is the image focal point. So it's showing like where, you know, like if you're cropping the image or if it's switching sizes or things like that, you want to make sure that you're showing a particular focal point because, you know, this is a pretty big image. You don't want the focal point to be like down in this blank section, you want it to be on the main content of the image. So you make sure it's properly positioned there. You can move it wherever you want and click that. Uh, you can also rename the file name. So, you know, right now it's just pulling the basic file name, but you can switch that to whatever you want. This is really helpful as well for SEO. So try not to skip that step. Um, and then just really quickly too, I'll show you that if you ever want to switch out the image, you just would click remove here. And, you know, that shows that the image block is still in the page, but the particular image is, is, has been removed. So let's just add it back in here. All right. And once we've got the image in place and you can see that the focal point is in a decent spot, then I'm going to show you how to switch out the actual like design part. So to do that, we're going to toggle over into the design section, and this is where we have a bunch of different options. So I'll walk those, walk you through those really quickly. So the basic is set to do inline, which is basic, which is pretty much just like the image displays on the page. And if you scroll down, you can see that there's like a section for the caption here. So you could write whatever you want with the caption. You can make it bold. You can make it. Uh, you, make it italicized, anything like that. You can add a link to it, all those different things. And if we go back over here, you can see that you can switch the different ways the caption does or does not display. You can also stretch it or enable the light box, which is, the light box is pretty nice if you have like smaller images that you're using on your site. So for example, if you have like three side by side, by side of each other and you wanna make it like click to enlarge, things like that. All right, so that's what the inline option is. So that's the first one for the images. The next one I wanna show you is the poster. So if we click on that, we can see that it's a little bit different because you have the image in the background and then the text here. So let's say I wanna do Charlotte's skincare and then all natural, let's say. So basically it's just adding text directly on top of the particular image. So that's kinda of cool. Next off, I wanna show you the card option. So here, this is totally different. You see that the image block still takes up the, you know, the full width here, but it splits it so that the, the actual image is on one side of the page and then the text is over here on the other. So that's kind of cool because you can also switch whether you want the image on the left or on the right. So 
This will be really neat if, let's say, you're, you're stacking quite a few images or image blocks on top of each other, and you know you have the first one, the image is on the left, and then if you scroll down, you have another thing, but the image is on the right. It's you know a cool different visual effect that you can do here. And then again, you can always link to the image, um, you know, this way, um, and you know add a URL here, or if there's like a button that you want to do, this is neat. So you can like add a button text as well. So that would be the option for the card, which is pretty cool to do there. All right, so the next one I'm going to show you is the overlap. So this is pretty similar. I want you to kind of see the page here. So uh, it's similar to the card, but a little bit different. So watch as I click on this one now. Oh, see, good. So in this, the title or the first larger section of text, it now shifts over a little bit and you can see that it cuts into the image a little. And that's neat because it's a bit more of a modern look and you know if you want to do that that's pretty fun to play around with and again here you can switch whether you want the image to display on the left or on the right so pretty cool another kind of cool modern one with the, you know the way that the text and the photo interact is by using collage which i'll click now so in this you've still got the image on one side whether it's the right or the left side but here you've got kind of like a you know a blacked out background here with the text so it just makes it a bit more dramatic and that's a really fun thing if you know you want to include that particular look and feel on your site and then finally the last one is the stack so in this you could have like um, you basically have the image on top and then the text down at the bottom but you can see it's still a much bigger more prominent text than if you were using just like a plain basic text so here at the bottom so I've got an image block up here, and then directly beneath it, I've got a text block. And let's say, um, oops, cancel. Um, basically, if I were to start typing in here, let's just apply. I'll, I'll do it for you in this demo. So I've applied it, and if I want to start typing, blah 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 blah, you can see that it's you know that text is quite a bit smaller, and I would really need to like reformat it or something if I wanted it to get to be like the same size as this one. Is the text that's in the image block section up here so that's kind of cool and if you know I wanted to just use this particular look it's available for me really easily in um, in this particular one which is again the stack so image on top and then the corresponding text down below so that is what the different image blocks options are and you can use this the same way whether it's in on a web page so you know here like a like a page or the same thing goes if you want to do a blog so I'll show you again that it's exactly the same so let's say you go to the blog create a new blog post so demo title whatever um, so here let's say we're gonna add another image block so it's the same thing just click image and then you can upload whichever image you want here once it you know resizes and reformats um, it'll pull the file name but you might want to switch that out to make it something a bit more fitting for you and improve SEO as well so instead of just like make up five because these are all stock images um, you know you can rename it there and then again design just click through to whichever one is the right one for you and once you've done that you just click save or save and publish and then you've got the image in your blog post all right, so that is how you use the image blocks on your Squarespace website. I hope you found this video helpful and that you go ahead and plaster images all around your site because they're a really great way to showcase your brand, your business, you even, if it's your personality a little bit. So hopefully this video tutorial helped you out. If you did enjoy it, feel free to like it or give it the thumbs up. You can also leave a comment down below and even hit the red subscribe button just down below this video, which will make sure that you're notified anytime another new video is uploaded to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my website, you can. It's charlotteohara.ca and I've got tons more videos and content there all about Squarespace, website design and development, tech tips, the whole jazz. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.